Morning everyone, uh, it's good to be with you today. Um, just doing the Bible reading for this morning. Um, and we're in the chapter of Hosea 14. Hosea is an Old Testament book. Uh, it's one of the minor prophets, although he punches pretty hard, so he's no, not minor at all. And um, it's been interesting with our Bible readings that lots of people have volunteered to help out with uh, other passages, but when we get to these minor prophets, they're a little bit obscure. Uh, people are struggling with that and not been volunteering. So here we go. Here's what I've got. Let's pray as we get into God's word. Thank you, Jesus, for your word. Thank you that you love us so much. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you want to speak to us this morning through your word. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let me read Hosea 14 to you. Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God, for you have stumbled because of your iniquity. Take with you words and return to the Lord. Say to him, take away all iniquity, accept what is good, and we will pay with bulls the vows of our lips. Assyria shall not save us. We will not ride on horses, and we will say no more, our God, to the work of our hands, in you the orphan finds mercy. I will heal their apostasy. I will love them freely, for my anger has turned from them. I will be like Jew to Israel. He shall blossom like the lily. He shall take root like the trees of Lebanon. His shoots shall spread out. His beauty will be like the olive and his fragrance like Lebanon. They shall return and dwell beneath my shadow. They shall flourish with the grain. They shall blossom with the vine. Their fame shall be like the wine of Lebanon. O Ephraim, what have I to do with idols? It is I who answer and look after you. I'm like an evergreen cypress. From me comes your fruit. Whoever is wise, let him understand these things. Whoever is discerning, let him know them. For the ways of the Lord are right, and the upright walk in them. But transgressors stumble in them. Hosea has just spent 13 chapters of doom and gloom prophecy regarding the spiritual state of Old Testament Israel. In chapter 14, we're going to get the vital call to repentance, the call to change their thinking and actions and turn to God. They have stumbled because of sin. Their thoughts and words and deeds have not been good ones. They've sinned and they've sinned badly. The Lord is beckoning them to return to the Lord your God. God is theirs. He's in relationship with them. Having called them and chosen them, Israel had sadly chosen to turn away and needed to return to God. So verse 2 tells us what returning or repentance look like. First, it takes words. They need to speak out with words specifically what they've done wrong. Not a Weasley, if I have offended you, I'm sorry. That's not repentance. Repentance requires us to speak out what is wrong and acknowledge our part. Secondly, it's going to take some action. Return to the Lord. There's some movement required. I'm sorry for looking at porn and then carrying on looking at porn is not repentance. Job made a covenant with his eyes not to look lustfully at a young woman again. In Job 31 verse 1. Thirdly, there's an acceptance of good. A change of thinking means replacing bad thoughts with good ones. We need to do that in so many areas of our lives and especially sinful thought patterns. Fourthly, it requires sacrifice. We will pay with bulls. That's how it was in the Old Testament. Thankfully, Jesus has been and made a good God-sized sacrifice to cover all of our sin. Thank you, God, for your grace. Fifthly, you've got to recognise that culture or living in a Christian nature won't save us. Christian nation won't save us, like Assyria at that time. Possessions won't save us, like horses in verse 3. Our works, the works of our hands are not our God. That can mean idols. We've not made, we can't make idols or idolatry of what we do. And then what happens when they repent is that God's response is breathtaking. He will heal, he will love freely, and his anger is turned away, verse 4. He will provide refreshing, that's the dew. He gives a beautiful fragrance to our lives, that's the blossom and the smell of Lebanon. He will root us strongly so that we don't get blown about. There's a lovely scripture elsewhere. It talks about he that loves God, that his roots are, are deep in the stream. If you're wise and discerning, you will understand and know these things. Verse 9. So when we look at this passage, it's about repentance. It's about how to turn to God and the blessings of turning to God and how wonderful he is. Let's pray. 
Father God, we thank you that when we turn back to you, when we've messed it, messed up and we turn to you, Jesus, that you bring us forgiveness, you bring us blessing, you bring us such joy. Thank you that knowing you is refreshing like you. It's like the new wine. It's like the beautiful fragrance that you bring into our lives. God, you are so good and we love you. Amen. Enjoy your day.